Today I'm going to review the Creality Ender Free Pro 3D Printer. There have been a few reviews of the Ender Free Pro already, and some speculation on what makes it Pro versus regular Ender Free, like the one I reviewed a few months ago. The idea with the original Ender Free was to make an ideal low-cost 3D printer for hobbyists. It's not only open source hardware association certified, it's also made almost entirely with standard off-the-shelf parts that are easy to source, replace, or upgrade or upgrade. And many of the upgrades can be 3D printed on the same printer. When the Ender 3 was being designed, cost was a primary issue. I felt strongly that teenagers, like the young makers I know, should be able to buy one if they save for a while. Once you have a printer, the plastic consumable is pretty inexpensive. It's a very cost-effective and creative hobby. You can make anything you can dream of and draw. In my mind, having the printer cost under $200 and thinkable was essential. For the engineers at Creality, that meant every tolerance was cut as close as possible. Not a screw or gram of aluminum is on this printer. That was not essential. Like we were sending it into space or something. It is bare bones. I think it's fair to say they struck a really good balance. I know people make fun of ch cheap Chinese products, but remember, the most innovative thing about the Model T is Henry Ford figure out how to make them cheap enough for almost anyone. The Ender 3 has made 3D printing accessible to many people, so I'm quite proud to have my name associated with it. The Ender 3 Pro is supposed to offer enough tricks and improvements to justify a higher price tag. Now, time to unbox it and put it together! Okay, I didn't spend too much time on that since you've all seen me put together an Ender Free in my last video. It's about 30 minutes. Any teenager could do it. Now, bad leveling, they did not add auto leveling feature, so I have to do it manually. First, I have to lower the bed all the way. And now to lower our filament and our test print. I've been exclusively using Eason PLA these days. There's a lot of good brands out there, but I've been getting really nice results with Eason's filament. So I'm just keeping it simple and going with them. Bye. 
Okay, let's take a look at the print. It comes out really nice. The layer line is clean. Oh. And it's very smooth. It's the first print out of the box. So I'm pretty happy about the results. It's no wonder the Ender 3 is such, you know, so popular. But I can say it is better than the original Ender 3. But I'm happy with the result. As I thought, the Ender 3 Pro is less an upgrade than a more beefy version of the Ender 3 with some incremental improvements. The engineers took all the parts they think just cut it too close, too much of a design compromise, and upgraded them. They changed the micro SD card reader to a more convenient location near the top, put a fan on the bottom, on the bottom added additional screws, a better power supply, and some stronger frame members. Also, the magnetic print bed is a very welcome improvement. So, additional pro quality over the original, but no major additional pro features. But, of course, I'm sponsored by Creality. But don't worry, they don't pay me enough to lie. Still, I'm going to put some links to unbiased reviews in the description box. As it stands now, if you can afford it, the cr 10 Pro is my top recommendation. If you need a large bed but want to save a bit of money, the CR10S is ideal. If you are a young person or on a budget just getting started, the Ender 3. If you want an Ender 3 but a bit more beefy, then get the Pro. Okay, that's it for today. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.